Guess who's back? Back, back, back again. Again, again. Focus back. Tell a friend. <laughs> What's going on today, guys? My name is Focus, and today we are recording another Battle Royale. Now, a lot of you asked for more of this, of course, because it was amazing the last one I played. And now there's some people talking again. <laughs> uh. Alright. So yeah, this time we're actually going to aim to win this because I've already won this three times now. And if you guys watch my live streams, then you would know that I'm winning it three times. Or I've won it three times. And uh, it's, it's really fun whenever you win this shit. Like, for real. Alright, so we're about to start. Alright, here we go. Oh, look, there's another old guy right there. Hi, old guy. <laughs> what did he say? Uh, one by one. Oh, Look at that guy, that's Daft Punk. That's Daft Punk right there. Alright, so now that we're out of that big ass fucking, like, really loud plane, I want to tell you guys this. The way that I found out the easiest way to win this is actually to have a tactic before you actually start playing. And what my tactic is, is I usually go over here to this building, and it usually always has a gun in it. If it doesn't, then I'll go up to Camp Maxwell. But that's my tactic, and I, uh, it doesn't really fail me. And what I do is I go to the building, I'll get stuff, and whenever I uh, get the stuff, I'll usually, like, of course, kill people. And I'll wait for the circle. Like, I'll camp and I'll wait for the circle. And whenever the circle comes, I'll go towards it, and I usually just sit there in the circle and wait for people to pop out and kill them. That's just about how you do it. And the uh, reason I have this tactic is because it never fails me, really. I've only... I don't think I've ever lost whenever I did this tactic, to tell you the truth. Alright, so so far about three people have died from parachuting. I can't really blame them. I mean, I've died once by parachuting. It's very easy to die because uh, you like you ha you have to land at a certain speed. and Like, under a certain speed for it to actually not kill you. So, if you're like a noob and you just, like, you've never played this, then it can be hard to understand that. Okay, 16, ooh. These guns are actually not that bad. I think, that, aren't they like at 7.6? No, they're 5.56. Yeah, they're 5.56. And so I'm going to try to find a... Oh, that doesn't work for that. Too bad. So now that I have a weapon and stuff, I'm going to go ahead and try to at least kill somebody. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to try to at least camp like this place. I'm going to like head south, and uh, I'll camp the south. And I'll kill anybody that comes around. Thank God there's a slash vest here. Alright, so there's actually a tower right over there. So I'm going to go and see if there's anything going down with this tower. Hopefully there isn't, like, somebody sitting up top of it. I think I actually see somebody right now. No, I doubt that's a person. It would have already moved if that was a person. Maybe they, like, yeah, that's not a person at all. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go see what's down with this tower. Hopefully it's not been looted. And if it is, then I will shoot up if there's anybody there. Just a little heads up, I always look around the tower for a vehicle. If there's a vehicle around the tower, I would recommend not going into it. Because usually that means that there's some, like somebody's planning explosion around it, because uh, like cars spawn explosions, so yeah. That can literally, like, you can die by an explosion if you don't, if you, like, don't. <laughs> it's hard to explain this. You can die by explosions if you don't look at it right. But yeah, this one's been looted, of course. The door's open. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this very safe very slowly there doesn't seem to be anybody in here yeah so there's actually somebody in here he just reloaded his weapon let's just go really fast there he is got him Alright, so that guy was a little bit stupid. I mean, he was third-personing it, but he couldn't see me, right? So here's his body right here. Let's just see what he has on him. Alright, yeah, man. Thanks for the first aid kits. That's really useful. Aviators and a beanie. You're not going to use that tactical vest, too, though. Fuck, I knew it. First attempt. <laughs> Should we go for a second one? Alright, so after what about seems like a long time, I finally actually found a gun. 
but unfortunately we are inside the bombing zone right now, so we actually have to stay inside. Because I don't think that the bombs will actually like hurt a building. So if, as long as I stay inside, I should be alright. Unless my logic is completely different. But I did see a guy head over there towards the, I guess, west, I guess? Like southwest, sort of. And I should probably go after him after this. I, I think he'll probably be long gone after this, though. Alright, so now that we're out of the bombing zone, I'm going to move towards where that guy was running. And he was running south, sort of. I guess that's south. He was, like, running southwest, and I want to see if I can kind of find him and, like, possibly shoot him down. Alright, so this guy's got a pretty smart tactic. He takes the ammo away from the gun so that whoever comes over here without a gun can't take the gun. That's a pretty smart tactic, but it was kind of stupid of him not to take that AK. I mean, those are they're 7.62, but they do take 1.5 or 5.56 mags, but they're still really good. And he just put the AK mag over here, so well, looks like I got myself an AK. Or no way, I think he actually dropped this AK for a different weapon due to the fact that it already had a mag in it. So that was my mistake right there. But still, though, he dropped it for a weapon. That's kind of stupid. Unless if it was like an MK16. Yeah, it is. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to camp this car. I'm going to sit here. And I'm going to wait for the circle to come. And whenever the circle comes, I will drive the car. And I'll drive it away. Towards the circle. If the circle spawns more up north than it does south. But, yeah, I'm just going to wait for the circle to spawn. And then I'm going to, of course, go into full tactical mode whenever the circle spawns. Alright, so there goes the circle right there. Let's just go ahead and see where it's at. Oh, we're in the circle, aren't we? No way, I don't believe we are. Yeah, this, we're in the circle, I think. We're just barely in the circle, but we're still in it. So I just now figured this out, but I'm not 100% sure on what Surefire is. It's an AK-74 Tactical plus Surefire. I think that has something to do with this right here. Because it doesn't really necessarily look like a grenade launcher, because grenade launchers aren't really that thin, or that, you know, they're like, they're bigger than this. And plus it doesn't have like a, a trigger, so I, I don't really know what this is for, Surefire. I guess it's so that you have more accuracy or something, but I'm not 100% sure about this. Alright, so, after what seemed like the longest amount of time I have ever wasted waiting in this game, I'm finally able to move to the circle because it the circle has finally gotten smaller, right? So now I'm able to move to the inner circle, even though I've only got two minutes left, but I can still make it. Like, but it is uphill though, so I might not be able to make it in time. Unfortunately, if I don't, then I will of course lose some blood and have to medkit. All right, so we made it inside the circle, fortunately. So let's just sit it out. Wait for the circle to get a little bit smaller, and then we'll uh, head in, and we'll possibly kill a man. Alright, so now I think I am correct if there's someone by me, because I think I just heard somebody go prone. Because you can hear those slight movements in this game, if you have your volume loud enough. So now the circle is definitely smaller, definitely nobody's dying, which is really weird. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on. I think it's maybe, like, I don't know, maybe we're all just sitting in the same spots. Not really 100% sure. It's just a game of patience right now. we got to see who moves out first. Alright, so that should get some people to start moving around. It just now said there are five minutes left in the round. Oh my god, that scared me. See, there's a guy moving around right there. There's two guys, two guys. So yeah, there's a team, up. There's a team right there. I think, right? Yeah, there's a team right there. Can possibly, yeah, I can take this guy out right here. Then his teammate is just gonna sit over there. There goes his teammate too. I think someone just threw a grenade. 
Did the player just get smaller or something? What the fuck? Alright, let's just see if we're covered. Nope. We can't really move forward or anything because we. Yeah, you see right there. Unfortunately, bad aim isn't the key to success. Alright, I'm gonna see if this guy tries to come after me. There goes that guy, so now there's just me and another guy. Now the worst thing that I could possibly do in this situation is probably rush it. It's kind of weird because this guy is probably barely inside the circle. Because as you can look, like literally right there to the right of me is the out of the circle. And, oh shit, we have 30 seconds left now. Should probably start moving a little bit. No. Checking player count. I don't know what it does after that. I'll tell you the truth, like after, I don't know. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Alright, so apparently we won that, guys. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. Uh, I know there wasn't much killing inside this second uh, round that we played, but it's still alright. I mean, we still had some fun. And that's about my fourth win, and thanks for watching the video, guys. Peace out. Also, I didn't say this, but go ahead and check out my live stream. It's in the description of the stream. I live stream Battle Royale there a lot, so if you guys don't like it that I don't upload a lot, then of course my live stream will upload it. And that's about it, guys. <laughs> See y'all later. Bye-bye.